Edge, often facing off. Beach versus Alcohol is never a good matchup for Beach. I mean, Loud Beach has arrived. He arrived a couple hours ago. Yeah, uh, Life, I, I'm pretty sure that ma the matchup is still 100 0. Yeah. He, I think I think in the last couple of years, Josh has gotten a little bit better at his matchup against Alcohol, but uh, well, no, no, it's it's a matchup he enjoys playing. He's just bad at it. I mean, at best, <laughs> at best, it's like ninety ten at this point. No, I would I would say it's like ninety five five, somewhere around there. It's just not a good matchup for Beach. I'm the like, wow, like, oh, I'm like wow, the Falco matchup wow. for KGH. Let's can go. we can we talk? That was. Power shield, shine out of shield, into runoff shine. I mean, I mean, just, just, what do you even Don't do, do, Ginger? Like this, Ginger's been putting in work. He's been trying so, like, putting in more work than probably anybody but Kalindi. And it's showing that Kalindi has been has been putting in that work. This is this is amazing. Especially because Kalindi notoriously does not like this matchup at all. He hates playing against Falco. Yeah, poor Avery. I agree, Bosco. Let's go. Let's go. Now, Avery Ginger. trying his best to bring it back, but... Yeah, Kalindi just needs the one more solid hit. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry, was, but you can't That was definitive. I don't even know what to say about Fox, that other than that one. was definitive. You get shine. Now, we're going to bring out the tag. I like uh, Kalindi rocking the WWLD, What Would Leffen Do? Yeah, he's been rocking that for a while. Or they still, uh, he's been rocking it for a little while. And I, fi I find it interesting that he bases himself off of Leffen. So that first game was Yoshi's. We're going on a bit of a bigger stage on Battlefield now. Let's see how this goes for uh, Ginger. Ginger. Ginger rocking the calm tag, which I'm assuming is to remind himself to stay calm. Oh, that, that, was a, that was a crisp jab. I liked that jab. I didn't like that it was uh, on Kalindi Ginger. Kalindi is looking still. clean. I cannot imagine. But he didn't JV5 him. There was a laser. No, 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 no. Levin JV5 Kalindi. No, he didn't. It, he took percent. Mm, I don't, I don't Dog, count. The, je the I definition don't count of a JV5 all right. is not taking any percent. He took percent. Don't argue with this with me. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Evidence, stop. <laughs> he deleted the message. Beautiful. <laughs> but it was... And random. while we've been talking, it's been kind of evened up. Seriously, I, I don't know, Kalindi's man. One, in the lead, but one laser, one laser is is very little. It doesn't matter. He took percent. That's the whole. That's the whole thing. It's zero. The zero at the bottom of the screen. That's what. All right, counts. all right. The freshman five. How about yes, that? Yes. That no, no. It would be a JV. Oh no. The no, no, no. Yeah, the no, freshman no. is under forty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Might be, might be. So we got the freshman five. I like. That is one of my favorite things to Bosco, do as Fox is the uh, reverse nair. You may nair. think you're not, but you're wrong. Good get up attack there. Just a shorten, laser, shorten nice shorten. Shooting the gun, shooting the gun. Oh, that was a meaty down now. Although Kalindi is at 146. No, I like uh, I like what Ginger. He kind of lost patience, but I like that he was just maintaining his stage presence, holding center stage Ooh, with lasers, moving him. forward a little bit, just oh, with the jab and the nice. F tilt, kind of forcing Kalindi's shield. Taking him around the stage, but oh, Kalindi has an answer for that. He's like, ooh, nah, 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 double hold jump, on. Nair, and short. Ooh, yep, no good. Definitely a better game two than a game one for Ginger, though. Both of the, uh, both of these players just losing their stocks to unnecessary shortens. Just knowing that they're probably going to lose the stock if they don't at least attempt the mid shorten. Both of them missing. The response. The response. These guys pushing the definition of what a JV5 is. 
Now, right. given given that situation where uh, where Kalindi missed the tech, I would have really liked to see Ginger just crouch. He was low enough percent that he could have taken the crouch if uh, with get up attack. He could have F smashed. I'm curious why. Roll in. He could have F smashed. Roll away. Um, oh, all right. Basically, would have covered everything. Ginger right, taking would have covered everything here. but roll away. Just. Uh, Ends up taking it anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter, but just could have optimized that uh, that scenario a little bit better. Kalindi taking him to FD. I, I don't know. Um, I haven't watched enough Kalindi to know how he is, and well, I guess I should not have doubted grab. him about his chain grabs. Oh. He does miss the pivot there, but it's he It's okay. A, He's got more shines to Yeah, fantastic follow-up. Crouch canceled down tilt. Probably going to... Ooh. Oh, wow. Hitting the shine. I like the read though that he was gonna go for the ledge and he tried to catch it with, uh, with the low angled F tilt. A lesser player, a lesser player would have tried to just stand there and up tilt. Wouldn't have worked even a little bit. I think Kalindi with a little bit more, uh, a little snappier on his timing could have gotten it. Definitely the better option. Beautiful left dash. Oh, and the chain grab incoming. Oh yeah, he needed the pivot to catch that. I don't know if he the could slight have. DI trip. Uh, you can. Uh, Chain grab is guaranteed until about 60% at any DI. Full yeah, but DI, is that is that on DI away, Fox or Falco? Uh, against uh, against Falco and against Fox, it's 60%. Uh, there's got to be some interesting. Uh, there's some interesting F tilt follow ups against Falco, but if you do full DI away, it extends the chain grab to oh, uh, about 80% on FT. Oh, that's gonna Let's be a go shine. Oh, he just. Beautiful wait into jump canceled up smash, just taking the stock, having a full full stock lead here. Weathering the laser storm. That was an interesting landing, because Ginger just straight up landed. He's going for the straight up smash, catching the full DI away. Oh, nope. Whoops. With an unfortunate uh unforced error, Ginger giving him the stock there. I like the forward air, doesn't really lead in anything, but an unconventional follow up. Oh, and ooh. Ginger, oh, sorry, Kalindi doesn't land it this time. He actually misses the uppy. That is true. You can wiggle out and do the shine before the re grab about 50, uh, 48, 50%. It's a really, really technical, really difficult thing to do. Really uncommon, really. You only see it, uh, you only see it at the top, top level. Oh. Even anything close to consistent, though. You can get around that. You can get around that 48 to 50 percent shine out slight DI yeah. just by mixing in an up tilt somewhere a little bit before that, just forcing, uh, just sort of forcing, forcing them to not even have the option to shine out there. Yeah, Ice and Leffen really are the only people that do it, and if you are aware of it, you can uh, you can essentially just force them. You can you can take away that option just by timing your F tilt or your up tilt properly. Adding that percent, just getting them out of that range on your re-grab. I like the up tilt there. Forcing him forward. It was good DI. Ginger a little slow on the follow-up. Or, yeah. excuse me. Uh, KJH a little slow on the follow-up. Ginger getting the jab shine out of it. Yeah, it seems that uh, Ginger has been slightly less crisp than KJH throughout the whole set so far. Just having a little more uh, control over the follow-ups. Ginger has sometimes gotten things started like uh, Ooh, right now. Ginger just completely, he, he went for the hard read on the DI away on that up throw and just because of it just resets to neutral. Kalindi getting, Ooh, Kalindi the getting a solid 20-25% out of it. Nothing huge, oh, no, 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 but again no. another unforced error from Ginger just That's losing a stock. Now. That's two unforced errors in two games that ended up in SD is really unfortunate. Otherwise, the games have been pretty close. Just uh, Kalindi kind of getting in his head a little bit. Oh. And he sh oh. should. Yeah, I like the straightforward angle there. He oh. misses the tech, but it doesn't really matter. He still resets to neutral. Oh, wow. Ginger's Jin Jin just going to stand there. Ginger's just him. standing in the middle. Yeah, he's just waiting for him to come to him. Now he's on the defensive. Stuck That's something both the of these players actually do uh, a lot. 
if if uh, if their opponent is just sort of dash dancing around the edge of the stage, they'll just hold center stage. They won't do anything. Because why do anything? Why not just hold center stage? Have uh, have control of the that's game. Not safe. Oh no! Once again, Ginger. That's three SDs in two games. This is not what you want to see from a player of this caliber. This is what you. Yeah. This is not what. You, and there's another one. That's All that's right. four SDs between these two players in two games. Uh, it's okay. We got it. We got it. This is something you expect to see when uh, when these two commentators play together, but not when people play at uh, winter semifinals. <laughs> Definitely has something to do with the fact that alcohol is served at this tournament. Perhaps. I agree, Bosco. All right, that's going to be a ledge dash, of course. Whenever you see Kalindi refresh his adventure ability, his, his ledge dashes are so crispy after that yeah, refresh. You've got to expect him. I like the short hop up air. I would have expected up tilt. Uh, kind of messed up his oh, DI, and he gets the roll wow. in, and that's it. He read, he read the roll, and he was that's just like, That's a 3-1 right, for KJH. In. Not really a major upset or anything like that, but still a solid performance for KJH. We really didn't want to see those SDs on either side.